Rowan FC TV with Brad Dollarhan following a 2 0 win over Hampton and Richmond Borough. Brad's two goals for you today, fantastic uh, all round performance. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, it was a good result, and obviously glad to get the two goals. Should have been three, really, but yeah, unfortunately it was only two. But yeah, it was a great performance from the team, obviously, and it's been we've lots of stuff we've been working on. Came into play today, and I thought we've done really well. What do you think that third one that it should have been? Well, it was a handball, but I thought if it's by your side, it's. Yeah, it should be allowed, but happy to get the two, obviously three for the season now, but yeah, it would be nice to have three. Breaking into the first team this season, you're starting to get a couple of starts now and cementing a bit more of a place for yourself. How has that been sort of progressing into the first team? Yeah, so I've been here quite a while. It's been a tough season, um, being here, there and everywhere, on my own. Had to really work hard, being putting minutes in, on and off the pitch, sort of mentally and keep them going, keep them focused, but yeah, big shout out to like Stu, Naif, Hinch when he was here, and the new guys here, Dean, Aaron, Buddy, everyone helping me, keeping me going, and there's been ups, there's been downs, and I'm sure there'll be another down and up, but we keep going, and uh, yeah, just give it 100%, when I get the opportunity, just try and take it. It's something we definitely pride ourselves at this club, the youth setup, and you've obviously got Finn Chadwick around you, Ruben Austin, all these guys, even Ollie Starkey as well, all younger guys getting opportunities, and it's got to be great for all of you to be involved. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's, uh, it's nice, it feels like playing today, obviously, in front of a big crowd. Yeah, it's a nice reward for all the hard work, obviously. As I said, it's been a long season, and come to the tail end now where it gets a bit more important, it's nice to be a part of that as well. Talk us through the two goals for you today, then, um, particularly that second one, fantastic finish. Yeah, the first one um, flicked on in midfield, Ollie, I'm not sure what really happened, and then the ball came in, and I was, was just there, really, on the edge of the box, and just got on the end of it. Second one, Ollie comes across and yeah, just drop the shoulder, create a bit of space for myself and didn't have to do too much, just point my foot in the right direction and hit back in that. So how do you find working with guys like Ollie and Cash in that front three? Yeah, I think it's taken me a while um, to get up to their level because the step from where I am playing, where I was playing, um, is so much different. And yeah, it takes a while to get onto their wavelength, but I feel like I'm slowly getting there. And yeah, it's good playing with good players as well. And exciting times now because we're at the close of the season, going in towards the uh, the big time, the results of it. How are you feeling going into this running? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah, obviously two games we've won, and um, playing well as a team. I think the team has sort of figured out what we're playing. I think everything we're implementing in training as well is um, coming into the game. And yeah, I think the team togetherness as well is just we're all, you know, I don't want to get in the playoffs and want to get the club places.